Why hello again. This is another video. This is Railmaster Pro Part 2. I couldn't get enough into the other one. There's loads and loads of stuff in the Pro. First of all, I hope you're all safe and you're all well. I'm here hiding away in Hughes Castle and I've got the guards on the battlements so I'm staying protected. Right, so one thing is this. If you go into your Railmaster Guide and go to page 6 these are all the original extra bits you get in the Pro. Just read down them and have a look at them and you'll actually see some of the best things you can actually do. And one there is 45 degree points, which I have for over there. And they're sitting on the track. There is settings of ordering of points, which is quite good. One of the things is, is... I had a gentleman the other day, and what happened was he turned his railmaster on and there was no locos. Which, as it happened, he hadn't saved the particular loco file. The loco file is resource.mdb and the other one you want is your track plan. Whatever you've named your track plan, you need that one as well to save. Now, one of the things you can actually do with the Railmaster Pro is a thing called backup. And what you've got with backup, which is this one here, you'll see that all about it on page 135, what you can get with a Pro, and what you can actually do, you can back up all your locos, all your track plans, your programs, and your groups. Now the thing is, as I've said before in mine, one thing is there's 50 odd trains in here and also is that the track plan, as you see there, is complicated and need that doing proper way. So also is that there is, as you can see in here, there is loads and loads and loads of programs, about 50 odd programs in there, I think there is. So what you can do with that is if you go to this, so say you go, you'll see some of these things, but you won't, see, you won't light up. That's in, this is in Pro, of course. There, there is one there, and that is backup. And you go to that, and what you do is go to there, and you put in your memory stick or your disk, and tell it that's where it's got to go into there. You click that, click that, and what actually happened? It'll download all of them. Now I'll show you what I mean by that. I've already done this because it takes with mine it's taken quite a little while to go through. So go down to there, go into here, and I go to the PC, and there it is in there. And there's the, the name of the file. And there are all my programs, my track plans, everything is there which I've been doing. There's that resource one there, which is all your locos. So that, look at them. So that is now saved. If anything happens to my computer, I've still got them ready to come back into the system. Which I did uh, originally when I lost my computer last time. As it happened, I managed to get the hard drive out of the old computer. Um, and it was okay, it was intact. I managed to move all the programs from there onto this particular uh, computer here, which I've got now. So that's one blessing out of it. Now, another one, which is quite good, which you can do, you can print your CVEs, you can do everything. But one of the things is, is your locos. So all my locos I've got in here, which are in here, of course. There's the locos. That is the cruise speed, diesel speed, uh, diesel, and that's the, the shunting speed. So I've got all these here, and actually, go, if I went down to here and click that, what it'll actually do, it'll do this. And it'll give me all my locos. So there's the locos, there's the picture of it, that's the code name, which, you know, your ID number, that's the type of name you give it, there's the cruising speed, the shunt speed, and the group you've put it into. So, 
It's also at the end, it gives you a little tally. I'll actually just do this. And what it does here is it gives you diesels, electrics, uh, demos, shunters, steam, maintenance, expresses, whichever you put them in there as, it'll do that for you. So it's very, very good from that point of view. Now, another one which I'll show you is if I just go back into my trap plan here. I find my trap plan, which is down here, which is there. Right, what you've got in this one, as I said before, if you go into some of these, same as this one we're going to here, that is, normally you don't get this, that is in pro. Well, another thing that I've said before is all my points, all my signals, and whatever I've coded them up as, there's a little box there which gives you the same startup. So one lottery of mine is when my fire mine up, it'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it go all around all the points, firing them up, setting them all up, and they do all the signals. But also what you get in here is this. Now what I've got here is if I click this, there's, that's the point over there clicking. So what you can actually do is you can test your points off here before you actually come out of here and go into the main file. So it's got that, and as I say, with the uh, with this one also, you've got this, which is not that one, that one. You've got all these angle points. So this is like what I've got, which goes over to the engine sheds. You can come down, you can go an angle. So they're all 45 degree angle points, which is quite good. And then, of course, this one here is this little cog one, which is all my little ones here. So if I actually just uh, click that out a minute and go to this one here, that is the name of the program I made. And then I do, do the pictures of whatever I want to put in, as I did. I showed you the last one with all this lot down here. So that's one thing I can do with it, with the, the Pro, which you can't normally do uh, with the, the normal system. Now, another thing which is quite good. Now, you can do double headers onto normal situations. But as you can see here, they are back to back. Normal double headers, you'll, you'll do ed, you know, both going forward. But this one here, one's backwards and one's forwards. Now what you've got in the Pro is if I go to here and go to the, there, there's the bulb for BT, there's the Sentinel. So I just click here and that means it's going forward. Click this one, that means it's going forward. So that was how you would normally get yours. If I go to this picture and click it, it's now gone reverse. I now save it, and you'll see little green lines come up under it. If I actually go, just do this. If I now click, I'll show you how, how, how close it is, watch. Now this is the two of them. Look how, look, they're identical in running. Perfect. If I actually just stop that now for a minute, I'll just shove them together. can't do shove them together, they won't go for some reason. I think this hook's come on. What you can do is you can go round both together, that way around, so it does work. And all you've got to do, if you don't, now if you go out, if you, when you come out of Pro, one of the things is, as I said before, whatever you set the screen at, 75, 50, 100, when it comes back, it'll come back as that. Whereas a normal one, if you put it down there's a 75, Come back and go 100, you've got to go over there, change it around. You don't do that with this. But also, this one here, this settings, will also be the same. So all I've got to do now is click that, click that, that. It has now gone off. So I'm back down to the normal trains now. So that is another thing you can actually do with the system. There is 
there's another one which you can actually do is them is across here if I don't want them I'm not going to run I'm not going to run any of that stuff over there I can actually go to here click that and what it's done is lost them put it back again and if they don't want the bottom it's lost that so I can get a bigger screen for my logos and put them back these little arrows don't exist on the or normal one they only exist on the pro so this is another one we can do uh, you've done the testing you've got the 45s um, now as I said you can print them off so this is some of the stuff you can do with the pro but I've only just touched the surface on this this can go on forever more but the main things is what I do with mine all my little trains which are all my programs these are all programs uh, all these are programs over here all the ones with the pictures they are there otherwise you've got to go to here to run a program of course and find it down here which is a boring thing to do put it in click the blue button there and that will run it so that is what I've done with that. Now what I'm going to do is just shift these two off the track for now. So if anybody wants me at any one time, they can always get me. I'm on 01782302194. I've always been here, even before this lockdown. Uh, the slightest thing, any questions you've got on, on Railmaster of any description, how you want, how you can do this, how you can do that, or if you've got any faults with the Railmaster, please contact me. My email address is below the, the videos as well. And what I'll do now is I'll put my little one which has been, been running for a while, which is my biffer, or dustbin as it's called. I do give all my trains a good run round, keeps them going. Nothing has changed much here, of course. But if anybody wants me, as I said, please contact me. Don't be afraid to call me, and I will see you again soon. Hopefully, by the time I get to the next one, we might be able to lock down and might be able to get into our railway shops. So, all the best and keep safe. And I'll see you soon. Bye.